Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome back to Ye Old Weekly Beauty Chit Chat. Hope you guys had a fantastic week. This is the video that I like to put up every Friday where I share my perfume favorites from the week, makeup favorites, skincare, body care, hair care, stuff like that. Just things that are beauty related that I like to lump into one video and share with you guys. So as always, I will be putting links to everything that I share in the description box right below this video. So check out the description box for a plethora of information. Particularly excited about today's video because uh, I get to host a giveaway. So I, you guys know how I feel about City Beauty. Love their products. And towards the beginning of the month, they reached out and asked if I was interested in hosting a giveaway during the month of January and I said, absolutely. So um, the best part is they allowed me to select the products for the giveaway. Now, I thought long and hard about this because there's a million things that I, not a million, basically any City Beauty product that I would have put together in a little bundle would have been a fantastic giveaway. But I thought about the product that I really, um, use the most consistently basically i use this product every single day and um i wanted to do a three month supply of my beloved city beauty complete skin restore so if you've been with me for a while you know that you see you see me talk about this a lot it is in almost every um monthly beauty empties because i go through a bottle of it a month there is a 30 day supply in here um, but I wanted to do this because I've just seen such great benefits to not only my skin, but even more so my hair and my nails. I feel like those were two areas that I struggled with a lot prior to starting these supplements. And I have used a lot of hair, skin, and nail supplements during my time on this planet. And, you know, like, I feel like they have kind of worked but it wasn't until I started the Complete Skin Restore well over a year ago at this point that I like absolutely fell in love with this product. My hair would never grow past a certain point. I was losing a ton of hair, like I was shedding so much and my nails were super weak and brittle. My skin, I felt like I had that under pretty good control. Like I've been a skincare addict, if you will, for quite some time. And so I feel like my skin always, you know, looked pretty good. But for the most part, like what I was looking for were like the benefits to my hair and my nails. And boy, did this deliver for me. My hair has never been this long. It has never been this healthy. I shed significantly less on these particular supplements. Now, I do feel that the most important thing with taking a supplement like this is number one, the consistency. Number two, you do have to take it for you know, a little while before you start seeing the benefits. So I figured three bottles was more than enough to start seeing the benefits. Um, so for me, right around like the two, two to three month mark was where I started noticing that my hair was shedding a lot less. I noticed that it was actually starting to get some length to it. I noticed my nails were chipping less. Um, they, my nails used to peel like crazy. They would bend, they would crack, they would break all the time and since since using this like i can actually i can grow my nails out i don't because i don't like having long nails but um my nails can grow and they're so strong i love this stuff i swear by it every time that city beauty has a sale this is always in my like number one recommendations pick these up when they're on sale but you can always pick them up just using my regular 15 percent discount code so I'll put a link to these down below. You can go read up a little bit more about them. Um, another part of the giveaway is, I also thought it might be nice to toss in one of their um, City Lips Plumping Lip Glosses. Now, I opted for the clear because um, I didn't know, you know, if whoever received it was not into pinky shades or not into nude shades, or maybe they wanted like a bright shade. Um, <laughs> clear's probably the best way to go. So. The winner will receive a three month supply of the Complete Skin Restore and a tube of the City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss in Clear, which they call Clear as well. <laughs> For a second I thought it was Crystal and I was like, Crystal doesn't sound right, it's Clear. So 
here here's the thing though this is us only so if you win and i ask you for your address you are going to have to provide your address to me so i can pass it along to city beauty but um if you win and you tell me that you live in canada or outside of the united states maybe in europe or something they're not going to be able to send this product to you this is us only and the way that you are going to enter is you're going to leave a comment down below and if you want to be entered just tell me what your favorite animal is i don't know i'm a big animal lover so tell me what your favorite animal is and why and then you know if you also have some other comment about today's video you can leave that as well but i will only be selecting from the people that tell me what their favorite animal is and why um and hopefully <laughs> you are us only so i will announce the winner in next friday's video so make sure that you're watching if you do not get back to me within let's say 48 hours i'll give you i'll give you a couple days but you have to get back to me within 48 hours um i'll have you email me and um give me your contact information which i will of course keep private but i will pass it along to city beauty so that they can send you the products directly so um you'll receive again a three month supply of the complete skin restore and a tube of the city lips plumping lip gloss in clear a big huge thanks to city beauty for hosting this giveaway i love their products you guys know how i feel about them they're fabulous and I love that they were willing to host a giveaway. I think that's a fun way to start the new year. So thank you, City Beauty. Now let's get into um, other things like my perfume pick of the week. Okay, so I went with something kind of different this week and um, it's a Skylar fragrance. And this one really isn't necessarily in my wheelhouse, but it's their Pink Canyon scent. So this is, like this is a very fresh kind of crisp it's it's definitely a floral but it also has a little bit of like a muskiness and it smells kind of exotic in a way i wish i could i didn't look at the fragrance notes before coming up but it's really really beautiful i will put the fragrance notes in the description box below this video you can actually find skylar fragrances at sephora so if you want to smell these in person hit up your local sephora i'm not sure if they're available at ulta i don't think skylar is at ulta yet ulta is gobbling up all of the good brand, all of the good brands by the way and I'm, I'm loving that um yeah this is just so pretty this i think is a really nice spring or summer fragrance i was just kind of craving something different this week from my usual like vanilla gourmand scent and this kind of fit the bill for that it's fresh it's clean it's got a little bit of like a muskiness to it i really like it a lot so anyway if you've never tried the skylar fragrances i feel like i get um like a decent lasting power from these are they the longest lasting fragrances in my collection no um but that being said they have some really unique scents if you have not tried their i think it's called is it vanilla sky it's their gourmand scent i will link that one down below as well um so good <laughs> so absolutely delicious whenever i wear that vanilla sky one craig is like you smell like good enough to like eat it's just a delicious gourmand love it so anyway if you're in the market for a new fragrance and you want something kind of fun and different maybe for the upcoming spring which will be here in no time because you guys are you aware that we are already halfway through january what <laughs> what is happening to time i don't know anyway also i really like pairing this pink canyon with the trader joe's brazil nut butter acai and guarana extracts um body butter um balm whatever you want to call it so i'm almost done i've got like oh my gosh like less than one use i basically just have to get the extra out of here and then it's all done um this is supposedly a dupe for the sol de janeiro brazilian boom boom cream now here's the thing totally different texture from the boom boom cream they do share some fragrance notes i will say there are some similarities this has kind of like that caramel pistachio vibe to it but this also smells, I think, a, a little bit sweeter with a touch of like a floral note as well. Um, it doesn't smell quite like the Sol de Janeiro. It smells incredible, don't get me wrong. 
Um, but I don't, I don't think this is as much of a dupe as like a lot of people have claimed it to be. It is just great in its own right is what I'm going to say. Um, the texture of this has a very like, it's very silicone-y when you're applying it, which can be great in terms of helping to retain moisture in your skin. Using this right after getting out of the shower is really your best bet. It really kind of helps to seal in the moisture and it feels great on the skin. Don't apply too much because it tends to want to gum up a little bit if you do that. Um, so you don't need a lot and um, it pairs well with this perfume. Definitely recommend the two of these together, but this on its own, I and what is this, like $5.99 at Trader Joe's? Um, if it's currently in stock, you should grab it. I bet they're gonna come back with this one this summer. And if you've never tried their coconut one, the coconut one is like equally as delicious. I've always loved the coconut. So give that to the old college try if you're in the market. Um, okay, we have, uh, we have the Grow Gorgeous Intense Thickening Spray. So I am still using that Wella Mousse that was hoisted upon me by Stella's hairstylist. I shared this story in last week's um, uh, beauty faves. And um, so the thing about that particular mousse is it's not the best at giving me body or volume. And so I've been using some of my different thickening sprays to give it a little bit more oomph. And this week it was the Grow Gorgeous Intense Thickening Spray. Here's the thing about the Grow Gorgeous line, um, especially this intense line. The fragrance, I think, would be a turnoff to some people. It has a very masculine, almost like cologne type fragrance to it. I happen to really like it, but if you are someone who's very sensitive to fragrance, I think the smell of this particular line might be fairly offensive to the smell phobes out there. Um, now I will say, I don't feel like it lingers in my hair. Like I can't really smell it at all anymore. I actually smell the Wella mousse more than I do this, but when you first spray it, it certainly is a waft of fragrance. So I just want to prepare you for that, but I happen to really like the smell. So this is a nice lightweight mist that really distributes the product beautifully throughout my hair. And I just basically do it from roots to ends. Now I didn't round brush my hair today. I find that with this product, when I round brush, I get significantly more volume. I was kind of in a hurry. So I just, you know, flipped my hair upside down and kind of whatever I ended up with, like this is, this is my do today. <laughs> like nothing's gonna change about this other than I'm probably gonna end up putting it in like a bun or something. But this really does add a lot more oomph to my hair. Now when I use this by itself, it doesn't give me quite the thickening effect that I want. I find it works best when I pair it with a mousse. But when I use it by itself, it's just kind of a natural, great everyday volume. But if you're looking for like really big hair, you might want to pair this either with a hair powder like the um, Cabela that I shared last week or um, just a thickening or volumizing mousse prior to spraying this throughout your hair. But I definitely recommend, I really enjoy it. I see myself repurchasing this. I really enjoy the Grow Gorgeous products that I've tried. I've also tried their, um, their growth serum as well their hair drops if you will and i really enjoyed those i just think it's a line definitely worth checking out you can find grow gorgeous at ulta which i think is great um you can find them at skin store there's a few different places where you can shop the grow gorgeous products but um most recently i saw them come to ulta which i think is fantastic i love me some ulta all right Skincare wise, um, this is the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. I love this stuff, you guys. Um, if you if you at all deal with enlarged pores, niacinamide is an ingredient that I'm going to steer you towards. When I started incorporating niacinamide into my skincare routine, I noticed a big difference in the overall appearance of my pores. Like it was night and day difference once my skin really started to um um, get used to using the ingredient every single day and this particular night mask is really nice because this at the end of my skincare routine helps to really seal everything in and it gives me that 10% boost of niacinamide but this really also hydrates my skin beautifully <laughs> I don't know what it is about this one but it makes my skin so soft when I wake up the next morning and you don't put it on like in the way that you would a lot of masks where you really like put on a thick layer 
You don't need a lot. It's almost like applying a moisturizer. So at the end of your routine, just take like the same amount that you would for a moisturizer and really work it into your skin. I like to focus on my pores especially. And when I wake up the next morning, my pores look amazing. They, they just look reduced, smaller. Um, and also my skin just is beautifully hydrated. So if you've never tried niacinamide before, I think this is a good way to do it. This is uh, a 10% niacinamide formulation. Um, I personally use the Paula's Choice 20% during the daytime. So um, a lot of times I get niacinamide into both my evening and my morning skincare routine, definitely my morning skincare routine, but oftentimes in the evening as well. And I've never had any adverse effects. In fact, I've just noticed that my pores are looking their best. Are, do I still have pores on my face? Yes, yes, you can see them, there they are. But they are significantly better than they have been, so love it. All right, let's talk some makeup. Um, using some of my like elderly palettes in my collection. <laughs> and this one is the Dominique Cosmetics. I don't even know, is, is this line still around? Um, have you guys been fascinated by what's happening to a lot of like the influencer brands? I, have you been following this? Yeah, you should, you should get into that. There's like a lot of like, I don't typically watch like tea channels, but I've had a lot of things like recommended to me on YouTube. Thanks algorithm. And so I've been watching some of these videos and it seems like a lot of like the influencer brands that were put out are kind of starting to tank a little bit. I find that phenomenon interesting. Very interesting. So I don't even know if, don't, is it Christine Dominique? I, I never watched any of her videos. <laughs> this probably sounds awful, but um, I did think that her makeup line looked very pretty. And so um, this is the Latte palette. I've had this for a while. I will say it's quite powdery. In fact, I'm gonna shake off some of the excess here. Um, so this Latte palette is what I've been using for most of this week. And I've been using um, this shade right here in my crease and then a mix of these two shades on my lid. Um, really nice, blendable, quite powdery. I did have quite a bit of fallout, but yeah, this is a really nice formula. Plus these shadows are enormous. I don't know why they had to be quite this big, but I guess more bang for your buck. Um, but yeah, I really like this palette. I'm glad that I snagged it. I kind of want to use this purple, this double shot shade and the cold brew, this really pretty kind of denim blue shade. I want to figure out what to do with these two. Maybe I'll play with that next week. The cold brew is kind of intimidating to me, but I think it's really pretty. So we'll see what I come up with. But yeah, really like this palette. If you have this in your collection, it's just kind of been collecting dust. You should bust it out. I really like this. It's a nice palette. I never did pick up any of our other palettes, but um, this one was a good one. So uh, when I'm done here and uploading this footage to YouTube, I, I'll do some research and let you guys know in the in the description box whether this brand is even still around. Um, okay, uh, in terms of blush, um, I wanted something kind of fun and bright pink. So this is the blush that I'm wearing today. Now I used a very light hand with this because this particular blade uh, sh blade shade. Uh, Sublime Flush from Hourglass. This is part of their ambient lighting blush collection. Sublime Flush is quite uh, intense. You can see it right there. A really beautiful, bright, fun pink. It also has a little bit of like a purpley, mauvey pink running throughout it as well. Um, this is beautiful. And I love this one when I'm looking for just a bright pop of color. And this one definitely you know, it, it met my needs this week. So I was focusing on using this for the most part, but I also, when I was looking through my blushes, uh, I was eyeballing my dim infusion and my diffused heat. I think I might get these out for next week. I just, you guys, have you used these blushes? Have you? I think they're so beautiful. They're so expensive. They really are, but man, do I love the way these look on my skin? They just add the most beautiful natural glow. This one, Dim Infusion, is probably one of my all-time favorites. Oh, it's so pretty during the summer. I just love them. Anyway, love me some hourglass blushes. And then my lipstick pick of the week was kind of boring, um, but it was very Victoria, which is a 
kind of taupey shade from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this one right here, uh, I have it on my lips, so this is what I'm wearing. I, I love these. These are the Matte Revolution lipsticks. These are so comfortable in terms of a matte lipstick. I don't know what it is that she did with her formula to make it so comfortable to wear a matte lipstick, but it never feels dry on the lips. Um, it has insane color payoff, really, really good opaque coverage. And at the same time, despite being a matte formula, I feel like it almost hydrates my lips. It just feels good. It feels good on my lips. And I think several of the colors are just absolutely beautiful. If you've never tried Pillow Talk, such a great universal shade, but this very Victoria is one that I don't hear a ton about. And I think this is one of like the prettiest shades as well in terms of like neutrals, just stunning. Love it. Anyway, you guys, that's what I have for uh, ye old favorites from this last week. So remember, if you want to enter the City Beauty Complete Skin Restore and City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss giveaway, leave a comment down below and um, yeah, let me know what your favorite animal is and why. Bonus points if it's a pug. Just kidding. You can have whatever animal you have. My favorite animal is the pug. <laughs> I actually have... Oh my God, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. They're both over there. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were sitting there early. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. And yes, I still have my trees up. There, there we go. It's hard to do that. Okay, backwards. Anyway, have a great day, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Tip